Air fryer fried chicken. Not only is it tender and juicy on the inside, it's crispy on the outside. We'll start by washing the chicken. Don't skip this step. Always wash your chicken thoroughly. Next, we're going to brine the chicken and let it sit in the brine water for at least a half an hour. We're going to add eight cups of warm water, three tablespoons of kosher salt, one half tablespoon of onion powder, and one half tablespoon of garlic powder. The main reason that we use warm water instead of cold water is that we want to bring up the temperature of the chicken and that will actually decrease our cooking time in our air fryer. Then we'll use a whisk to stir up the brine and before we put the chicken in we want to siphon off about a half a cup of brine water. Coming up, I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do with the water, but I want to let you know it's very important to siphon the water off before you put the chicken in. The way that we're going to make our chicken super juicy on the inside is we're going to use an injector and inject the brine solution that includes the garlic powder and the onion powder along with the salt right into the inside of the chicken. That's going to enhance the flavor and the juiciness of the inside of the chicken but coming up I'm going to show you a very simple breading recipe that's going to significantly bump up the flavor of the outside of the chicken and by the way folks if you don't have an injector and you'd like to get one we have them available on our Amazon affiliate store thanks while the chicken is brining for about a half an hour and by the way if you're going to go longer than that then you should probably put it in the refrigerator and you can let it brine overnight if you'd like on your screen is the recipe for a very good breading. We'll go ahead and put a copy of this in the video description. When you're ready to start cooking the chicken, you want to drain off the brine water and then put it on some towels or paper towels so you can pat it dry. Then we're going to go ahead and put two eggs in a container along with about a quarter cup of half and half. Now some folks use plastic bags. I like to use sealed containers. It helps keep my hands clean. Next we're going to take the chicken that's been patted dry and by the way we didn't rinse the chicken we just put it on some towels and patted it dry. Next we're going to put it into a container along with our seasoning and shake it up so that we can coat the chicken with the seasoning mixture before we put it in the egg wash. Doing so will enhance the texture of the chicken and make it more like extra crispy. After that's done, then you can take the chicken, put it in the egg wash, and put it back in the flour. I like to use a separate container for my mixture of seasoning. That way I don't contaminate it and I can use whatever's left the next time. The recipe called for all-purpose flour, but if you don't have all-purpose flour, you can just double up on the baking powder. After I put the chicken in the egg mixture, then I put it back in the seasoning, shake it up, and lay it out on a wire rack. If you remember earlier, we harvested about a half a cup of that brine water before we put the chicken in. Now we're going to go ahead and use that. We're going to use this brine water that is seasoned with salt and onion powder and garlic powder to spray the outside of the chicken so that it does not get that ugly gray finish to it. You can always use a spray bottle if you want, but I'm going to use this mister and I'm going to filter the water using a paper towel so that no debris gets up inside my mister. Before you start to put the seasoning on the chicken, make sure that you turn the air fryer on to 350 degrees and leave it on for about five minutes so it can preheat. Spraying the chicken not only enhances the presentation of the final product, it also significantly bumps up the flavor of the outside of the chicken. 
When you're finished spraying all the chicken, go ahead and put something down to protect your countertop if you need to. Pull the basket out, remember that pan's going to be hot on the bottom, and put the drumsticks in the basket and space them out evenly. After about 20 minutes, pull the chicken out and check the internal temperature. We're looking for a minimum of 160 degrees, but personally I would go a little bit higher. Depending on the size of the chicken, it may or may not have to go back in for a little more time. 